saw the title, um, trying to figure out what I should start with, the good or the bad. The good or the bad. Which one? I I think we should start with the bad. <laughs> Let's just start with the bad news. So, yesterday I get a call from my surgeon that I picked, um, secretary I believe, and she tells me, she says, now, hi, and I said, hello, and she says, have you talked to your primary care doctor, and I said, no, why, <laughs> she said, your iron is low, <laughs> right, and we honestly, we have to all be honest, y'all know just as well as I know, I've had iron issues in the past. You all knew, um, you know, last winter that I had to get two iron infusions. And they did tell me, you know, you're going to have to get more. So, um, the last time I had my iron checked was in March. And the number was 11.5 or 11.50 or something like that, right? Um, which it should be 12 for you to get surgery where they're very comfortable with that number. So, um, mine's was, I believe mine's was 8.5, which is getting low, you know. So, I say, okay, I'm talking to the lady. And I say, okay, so what should I do? She said, well, contact your primary care doctor. And she said, until then, we have to cancel the surgery and first thing I thought was wait a minute oh wait a minute lady because I have paid for my surgery <laughs> right pay for the surgery pay the anesthesia pay the hospital all this stuff is all paid off so I'm thinking what the heck do I do so I make an appointment yesterday to get in to see my primary care doctor we made the appointment. I had to go in today at 11 to see him. When I get in to see him, and he seems like an awesome doctor, you know. Um, you know, I'm also, uh, he's still new to me. Um, but when I get in there, he goes over all of my blood work and everything that I did. I told you all that the EKG, which is dealing with the heart, came back great. And um, when they checked my sugar <clears throat> it was great so he starts going over everything and he's looking through tons of papers it was like forever in a day and i'm thinking okay like tell me something sir he's like looking at the computer then he look at the paper he's looking at the computer he look at the paper and i'm just waiting patiently like okay so what's going on right he says well i just have to be honest with you he said everything Right? This really threw me for a loop. He said, everything came back good. Your sugar came back good. Everything came back good. And he saves this for the last. He says, but your iron is low. And he asked me this. This is like the magic question. Because I have told my doctor that my periods are heavy. So he knows that. And he remembers that. He said, I remember you told me that your periods are very, very heavy. He said, when um, was your last period? I said, well, um, when I went to get the blood work done the other day, I was on my period for the second day. And he said, was it heavy like it always is? I said, yes, absolutely. He said, here's what I have to tell you. <laughs> he said, with everything being great as it is, everything looking good, he said, I want you to do that test again. He said, are you still on your menstrual? And I said, yeah. I said, but it's lightening up. Um, he said, I want you to take it again, but wait until next week. I said, okay. He said, I feel like that number's gonna go up. He said, I feel like it was low. He said, cause I just checked you in March, it was 11.5 or however they say it, 11.50 or 11.5, something like that. He said, I want you to take it next week, and I feel like that number's going to go up. He said, because with you being on your menstrual, I feel like that's what did it for you. He said, but if not, let's just say if not. He said, what I want you to do anyways is I still want you to get another iron infusion because we know that you're somebody that's just going to need iron infusions throughout your life. 
And he said, we do know that they work for you. He said, so I'm going to send you to, let me look at this paper. This is what he tells me. He said, I'm going to send you to this place here. Uh, and when you call them, you tell them that you want to get in so that you can get an iron infusion, okay? But they don't accept my insurance, okay? So I told him, I said, well, since I'm familiar with the other place where I got my iron infusion, I left a message. I said, can I just go there? Because I called them when I got home. They said, we don't accept your insurance. And I thought, okay. I said, well, can I go to the place where I got the iron infusion before? And I called them and I said, hey, yeah, you can come back. You know, we know who you are, blah, blah, blah. And I paid up my last bill from the two iron infusions that I had, you know, and they know they accept my insurance. So I called my doctor's office back, told them to leave him a message to refer me back to the other people that I went to. That way I can get in. Okay. And I said, how soon, how long will it take for my iron to come back up? You, you know, to a level where, you know, we're comfortable with and the surgeon is comfortable with. They said, oh, a couple weeks, maybe a month. It could be two months. But they said, um, you know, you really start feeling the effects about a month and a half, couple weeks, you know. So I thought, okay, so, so that's where we're at right now with that situation. So it, so next week. I'm going to go get blood work done again. And it's going to be uh, just specifically for the iron level. Okay. All of the other, um, everything else came back good. He said, that's good for 30 days. So let's just say they rescheduled me before 30 days. All of that blood work is still good. I wouldn't have to get it redone. But if they schedule me out, after, at, you know, schedule my surgery after 30 days, I'll have to get everything redone again. So he said, what I want you to do uh, between time, he said, I just want you to load up on water like you always do. He said, and make sure that you're eating some, some nice green vegetables. And I said, okay. He said, but otherwise you're looking good. You have lost some weight. And I was so happy about that. I thought, yippee, <laughs> right? It was only a few pounds, but I'm happy about that <laughs> because you know, I'm trying. So it was a heartbreaker. You know, it did kind of stop me in my tracks for a second. Like I said, because we paid for everything, had our mindset and everything. One thing I didn't do, and I'm glad about this, is I didn't go get fitted for my, um, my four panel binder that I'm going to use after surgery. I didn't go get fitted for that. So they said that was good. They said, don't get fitted for that until we actually schedule you know, schedule your surgery and uh, reschedule it again. And I thought, okay, great. So we're in a good place right now. I could kind of relax. And then some of you may say, oh, Dina, this is horrible news. It's bad news. But I tell you what, I was praising God and I was so thankful. And here's where the good news comes in. The good news comes in because there is a God that stands up high and looks down low on us. He looks down low. He's going to make sure that you're right before you go into surgery, Gina Young. You know, he's going to make sure that you're nice and healthy and your iron levels are perfect before you get put under. You know, because honestly, when it comes to iron, we do see that when you bleed, such as something simple as a period, um, the iron level can go lower. So imagine getting surgery. You, you see, imagine getting surgery and then bleeding you know, with the invasive surgery that I'll be getting, I'm going to get two surgeries and, and we don't want it to go extremely low. So God said, listen here, Gina Young, I got you. I'm going to make sure that your levels are, are good, that your levels are safe so that you can be safe when you go under, you can be safe when you come out of surgery and when you bleed, your levels are going to be good. So first thing that we need to do is we need to get rocking and rolling. I need those. I need them to call me back and let me know that I can go to this last place where I got my iron infusion from. OK, so they need to refer it all over again. I'll get in there next week. I'm going to go get that test all over again. And like I said, remember more than anything, things are going to happen. And just because 
uh, you know, you guys know me all over the world, doesn't mean that things don't happen to me too and everybody else. But what you got to do is you got to stand the test, the, the, the trial. Stand the trial and the test and go through it and know that God is on your side and God wants the best for you. And he's going to make sure that you know any health conditions before any surgeries are done. And that's where, like I said, that is the good. You know, there's the bad, but yet there's the good and the, and the good overweighs the bad any day. Because I would have hated to have had surgery. You have low iron, and then you have issues, and then you're going down this way. That's not what we want. We want what God just did. What God just did is he interfered and said, ah, wait a minute, Gina Young. Slow your roll a little bit. I got you. You got some things you got to do before this, okay? So we're going to do some things, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. Like I said, there's so much more yet to come, and always know that God is on your side for the best, for the best outcome in you. Okay, so that's what I wanted to come in and talk about. Okay, so listen, I just want to close this out by saying sometimes things may not always work out exactly how you want it. But listen, it does work out the way God wants it to happen. Okay, so I just want you all to always have faith and know that God has your best interests at hand. Okay, that, I just want to tell you guys that. Okay, so everybody says, so are you going to still get the surgery? Absolutely, I'm still getting that surgery and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't, guys, I cannot wait. Do you hear me? So this is going to be a journey. I'm taking you all through this journey with me. You guys are going to know everything that happens through this journey. And uh, when I do, let, let's see, when I, so, so the next thing that you guys should know is when I go and get the test done again next week, the results come back 24 hours later. We will see what that number is. If that 8.5 number went up after the menstrual was over, you know, so that's really exciting to find out. And then also I'm waiting on my doctor to call me back and let me know that it's okay to go over to the place where I went last winter to get my iron infusion. So I, it's, it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of um, all types of feelings because I'm really excited um, to find out what the number is. I'm really excited for the iron infusion. I'm really excited about everything and knowing through all of this, God is on my side. I love you guys. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.